We have seen it all in the first three weeks of the PWBA Tour. An international winner at the USPC Queens. A champion continues her excellence in Liz Johnson. And a first time winner. How can we top that? We find out next at the Storm Sacramento Open Finals. It is time to bowl. CBS Sports Network brings you the 2016 PWBA Storm Sacramento Open Finals for the world's best bowlers compete for a tour title. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the PWBA Tour on CBS Sports Network. This is Dave Ryan. I'll be joined by tour star Kelly Kulik in a moment. We have step ladder finals in our broadcast, and for the first time we can remember, we've got three lefties of the four competitors, and all will bid for a first career PWBA Tour title. A top seed, Sherry Tam, one of six Team Singapore players in the field, fell lefty Shannon Plahowski, the number two seed Lone American in the field for the broadcast. Longtime Team Columbia star Andrew Ramirez is next. And then New Wave fan of Singapore, the only right-hander on the show. So Kelly Kulik, only one righty and three southpaws. How will that affect things? You know, New Wave fan might have a slight advantage because she's on the side all by herself. The three lefties taking aggressive services to their bowling balls, playing their A game towards the gutter, which is not typical in a 45-foot pattern. It's going to create a lot of friction. The lady that adjusts the quickest is going to be the one that's most successful in that final match. We can't wait. We'll be tied to bowl on CBS Sports Network when we come back. PWBA Tour Action. One bowler will win her first career PWBA Tour Championship. Who will it be? We find out next. Let's bowl. PWBA style. Angie Ramirez. Herrera. New way fin. The lone righty in the field. Off to a great start. With ease and no effort whatsoever. So smooth. New way fin all from Singapore. Andrew Ramirez, Team Colombia. First southpaw we see in the show tonight. Now lives in Austin. Mm -hmm. Lived in Chicago for a while. To college at Maryland Eastern Shore Wait. was an All American there. And at one of three lefties, we'll see off to a great start. Good Andy's game from, from behind here. Now, five step approach just drops the ball in so subtly. Creates great leverage, but notice the hand action at the bottom of the swing and her posture. Steps off balance there, but it's just to see the outcome of the ball. She creates so much leverage and so much power within her release, something she's been working on the last few months, and adding a wrist brace to do that. You and she talked about that quite a bit last night in our pre-match meeting. It was. I was amazed by how many changes she made in such, such a short period of time. Went from no grips to grips, from a 16-pound ball to a 15-pound ball, and with only a month and a half time, added the wrist guard. Great start. Let's check a future for the sport lane pattern here. Callie, break it down for us. All right, what's interesting about this pattern, it's 45 feet in length, so it's a very long pattern the girls used to bowling on. High volume of oil, around 27 mils. It's blocked off here, but we have fire, and we have ice as a combination. Fire going down the lane first, and then the ice being in the middle, so it's gonna create a little friction to the outside, more recovery, but build up in the middle to give them the girls hold throughout the pattern. New Wave fan with a strike, and fellow members of the Team Singapore contingent, pretty happy. Yeah, she's right around board 13. She's creating her own lane pattern because she's the only righty. But Fire and Ice are the two oils that Kegel uses within their dual lane machine. Eric Pearson was our lane master for the last few weeks here out on tour. And the combination of those two oils, which isn't usually seen, creates more shape to the pattern. So again, two different oils being used. Four straight strikes, how about five? Yeah. We could see some big numbers here. It's refreshing to see these young athletes see it not only as a job, but a fun job. They, it's, it's so wonderful and refreshing to see them smile on their face that they go to work and they love their job. And now Angie Ramirez back on the right lane here. 
see if she can keep up with new wave then. Had a hurry and got there to the one-two pocket. What a start. Six straight strikes between these two stars. Not the first time you've seen Angie on TV. Go back to the 2013 Intercollegiate Team Championships, the ITC. Helped lead her Maryland Eastern Shore squad to a victory over Pikeville. The Hawks' second ITC victory. She was the 2012 Maryland Eastern Shore Female Athlete of the Year. And yeah. First team All-American twice. If you look at her style between then and now, I mean, st same great physical fundamentals and strength. The only difference in her follow-through is she just has a little bit more finesse at the bottom of her swing. Yes. Nice and smooth through the I shot. Got I love these first matches, how great they are out of the gate. So strong in strength and numbers. New Way Fan all the way from Singapore. 24 years old on their national team. Credit Storm and working with Jim Callahan about the patterns and lane play. It's given her so much success in early start. How about eight straight? Yes! These two are tearing these lanes up. Are you sure it's a professional pattern? It might look like league to me right now. Also a, a lover of penguins by the personality shown on her shirt right Yeah, now. you can tell, right? <laughs> she loves penguins. And the last thing these two are thinking about is a 7-10. Any player who does convert a 7-10 split on a CBS Sports Network finals this year will receive a $100,000 bonus. Courtesy Ultimate Bowling Products. No 7-10 this time, another strike. Nine straight between these two. Remaining perfect. This is incredible. Look, they got their team flag. Let's go Singapore. Beautiful delivery. 15-16 at the arrows at 45 feet, which is down the lane a far distance. Really, New Wave fan making it look like league right now. There Clear is pass to the pocket. a $10,000 bonus on the line for a perfect game on TV. I would love to see that. Me too. For the front five. Away. To match her opponents. Oh, yeah. Ten in a row combined. Well, between them, if we go Baker style, we just need two more. I don't think that counts for the $10,000 bonus. But. No, $5,000? Can we go heavy? <laughs> nope. Remarkably, That'll be a perfect game. Both players just looking so focused, so calm, so relaxed. You would never know professional debut for Angie. I mean, it's... Fabulous, the energy level, the crowd here supporting us. 10th straight, looks for the front six. Can't you get halfway home so to a 300 game? Oh! Well, there's the 710. She will not have the $10,000 bonus, but a chance for $100,000 if she can convert the nearly impossible 710 split. Yeah, now off her hand, she didn't feel very comfortable about it. Just got it sent down the lane a little bit too far left. Watch the ball hit the pocket. It deflects more often. Six pin goes right in front of the ten pin. Doesn't have enough energy to kick it out. 100,000. Oh, did kick it off the back wall there. Got close to seven for a moment, but not enough. The streak is broken, not just a non-strike, but of course the open frame. That changes the match dramatically. On the bench, 14 pin lead. New way fin. Front six. No, it oh. ends for each in the sixth frame, four pin. Light four pin. New way fin has a lot of high rev rate, good rotation off her hand, up the back of it, creates beautiful ball roll. Same spot, just sends it a little bit further right than the last few shots in this lane. Typically, you would see the four pins slide out to the side and maybe leave a seven, but just not enough entry angle into the pocket to get the four pin. Switching to the hard plastic ball. It's going to go straight at her spares. She's been working on this very diligently. The spare game has been her weakness lately, but with the 45 feet pattern, a lot of oil, as long as she keeps the ball in front of her, her pathway to the to the spare should be straight. And it's the coolest spare ball you'll ever see. Yeah, I mean. Do you have one like that with a brain inside? No. No, but I, sometimes I think I have two brains. They fight each other. <laughs> I 
Her goal here is just to keep her angles tight and her hand in front of her, which allows her launch angles to be nice and tight through the, through the delivery of the ball. Wow, nice shot. Six of seven frames, a strike for New Wei Fen. Team Singapore teammates making some noise, hoping for a championship on CBS Sports Network.